Hi everyone and welcome to Inside Bristol. I'm your host Sheridan Nichols and we've got Cody Jennings with us today from The Possum. Yeah. This is exciting. exciting. First time Cody's been on the show and we're here talking about a really cool toy drive that y'all do this yes. time of year. So how do we get involved? Well, thank you for having us. Yeah, the third annual toy drive and there are multiple ways to get involved. Uh, we're taking donations for toys and financial too, contributions for the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office Toys from Cops event. Very excited to be partnering with those guys again. Uh, we are setting up a toy drive. It's at our new studio location, 3620 Highway 390 okay. in Bluff City, December 9th and 10th. We'll be set up there from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., so 20 hours in total. Bring a new, new uh, unwrapped toy. You don't have to worry about wrapping the toy or anything. Just bring your new toy and contribute to the effort. That's exciting, and it can be any age. It can be any age, you know, and, and just whatever you think, whatever you think would work. And if you can't get out and shop for a toy, we do have people with monetary donations. The monetary donations last year were overwhelming to us and to the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office, yeah. Oh, I bet they love that you've got this partnership with them. And Absolutely. I know last year you really helped a lot of families. Yes, yes. Like I said, the, the third annual for us this year. What the Sheriff's Office does, they distribute these to over a thousand kids wow. and every year and that number continues to grow unfortunately. Less fortunate kids who maybe aren't getting these toys for Christmas and that need was really there and that's why we stepped in. So our listeners in the community really step up to do a phenomenal job in getting us the toys we need. Now, if you can't get out on those days and you wanted to just do something monetary, do you go yep. online or do you just call the station or how did the, we get that money to you? Both ways, 963thepossum.com, our website and our phone number. You can call the office 423-878-6279 and let them know that you want to donate monetarily to the Toys from Cops event and we'll make sure they get that money. That money goes to buying toys and, and all that kind of thing. So that, that's where the money's going. Well, it's always exciting to go out and buy toys, and, and especially when it's for a good cause. Yeah, yeah and, what, so and one thing I, I do want to say, this event uh, we're setting up at our studio location, again, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on December 9th and 10th. This also gives people the opportunity to come in and check out the studio. We will be doing live broadcasts in the studio. Feel free to come in and hang out and, and see how you know, how it really works. We're going to have music, we're going to have food, we're going to have all kinds of stuff. So it, more than just dropping in and bringing by a toy, which is excellent, we want people to come hang out with us. That's great. And it's a new studio. Yes, new location, um, just an incredible setup. We're very proud of it. And we've been really blessed and we've, we've finally found our home and we want everybody to come enjoy it with us. That's exciting. Thank you, Cody, for sharing all this information yeah, with us today. Yeah, thank you for having today. us. Yeah, and don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a moment. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Inside Bristol. I'm your host, Sheridan Nichols, and we've got Lisa Kofer and Lori Bradley of the United Way of Bristol, and they are here, and they're going to tell us all about the campaign and how we can help out. Here they are. Well, uh, this year's campaign theme is Be Someone's Hope, and what that means is, um, you know, by making a gift to United Way, not just a financial gift, but a gift of your time, your talents, your other resources, um, can help be someone's hope in our community. Um, we have so many programs that we run out of our office. Um, we provide a lot of direct services in the community through our COVID CARES grant to help people that have been impacted by COVID with utilities and food. Um, we have a homeless COVID program where we can quarantine our homeless folks when they uh, test positive for COVID. And um, we provide you know, transportation to our COVID site. And then we provide all their meals. We provide medical monitoring through partnerships in the community to make sure that you know they have everything they need and they check with them every day and make sure they don't need to be taken to the hospital. Um, and uh, so far, uh, that's been really effective. Uh, and what we do that for is to prevent the spread of COVID. And we have um, quarantined about 35 people. We've provided 500 meals. We've provided transportation, uh, you know, back and forth for these folks. 
So, um, you know, giving to United Way helps us provide those programs. Um, you know, we also have Resource Bristol, which Lori's going to talk about in just a few minutes, which helps us serve as the hub in the community for people that are in crisis situation and have needs. And so um, we also have a real effort to raise additional dollars on top of our campaign dollars for our child care and child development efforts. Um, we did some community conversations a couple of years ago with folks just like, you know, people that are watching today and other community leaders and said, what are the greatest needs? We got all that information together after many, many meetings in the community. And one of the things that rose to the top was we don't have enough affordable child care you know, slots and we needed additional child care and child development resources for our kids that are already in facilities uh, and are you know being able to, to have a safe place to go. And so we raised last year on top of our campaign, um, we raised about $125,000 specifically for to open up slots and so um, we gave that out to 11, 11 different uh, child care facilities and other organizations like the YWCA. We're helping to build a playground at, for a new program that um, Bristol Virginia Public Schools has to help provide child care for their employees and for the community. And so on top of those 175 slots, we have about, I think it's 475 kids that are going to be impacted with additional resources like new books and the outdoor playground and an outdoor classroom and some other really exciting things. And what our goal is, is to help our families that are working have a safe place for their children to go out, you know, during the day so that they can work. And, you know, if you have one child, child care is very expensive. If you have two, um, you know, it sometimes it doesn't pay parents to work because they're spending all their money to provide child care. And so what we want to do is provide scholarships and to do a lot of other things in our community like that. So we are always looking at where the gaps are in our community and then looking at what resources are available to fill in those gaps. And if we don't have resources already available, then how can we bring those to the table? Um, and so, um, you know, it's an exciting time for United Way. Um, we fund 20 different local agencies, uh, 30 plus programs at those agencies, like Boys and Girls Club and Girls Incorporated and the YWCA and Abuse Alternatives and Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and so many more. And so, um, but we depend on donations from people in the community and like your viewers to help us be able to do those programs. Um, we are boots on the ground and in the trenches in our community um, trying to make sure that it's a better place for everybody to live. Um, we've partnered with the Bristol Chamber uh, and have put together a homeless coalition which we're looking at um, a, an upcoming opportunity where we will be able to hire someone to be that central point of contact for anything homeless uh, and it'll be for Bristol. It won't just be Bristol, Tennessee. It won't just be Bristol, Virginia. It'll be for Bristol. And so we'll be able to more quickly work with those homeless folks and be able to get them into housing and get them into programs that can help them become self-sufficient. So um, there's a lot more I could share with you today, but uh, those are some of the highlights. And so we just want to encourage everybody, please support us. Please help us continue to do those programs. If you don't get um, information through your employer about giving to United Way, you can always give us a call at 423-968-4912 and we can do a pledge over the phone. We can mail something to you. Um, and if you'd like to volunteer, Lori's gonna talk about that a little bit more too, because uh, we, we need some volunteers as well to help us with all the programs that we do, so. We raise money, you know, all throughout the year, but we primarily focus on the campaign in the fall. So we kicked off with our neighboring United Ways uh, in mid-August with a big kickoff and a celebration, bringing all the United Way folks together and volunteers and donors and just celebrating the kickoff of the campaigns in all of our different um, communities. And so the campaign is in full force. Uh, we always try to wrap up the end of November, the first part of December, um, but sometimes we end up going into January as well. And so, um, and although we don't really promote 
a financial goal. You know, our goal is to meet the more, meet more needs in the community, and um, you know, we we feel like if we can raise at least a million dollars, uh, and then another one hundred and twenty-five to one hundred and fifty thousand for child care and child development, then we'll be able to meet a lot of the needs of our agencies and the programs that we administer. So. Uh, and the other thing that's really important for people to know is that no gift is too small. Um, you know, we ask people, especially when you go into employers and talk to them, would you consider giving uh, a dollar a week? Um, you know, that's not quite a soda anymore, um, but uh, you don't miss that dollar a week, and that's $52 for the year. And if we add all the people up that give that and more, all those dollars stay right here in Bristol unless it's designated to go by the donor to another community and has a huge impact right here. So, you know, 50 cents a paycheck, a dollar a week, um, you know, what anyone can afford with their budget, um, you know, goes to a great cause um, and goes to helping us impact um, the quality of life in our community. And our pledge forms have a place on there where they can designate to um, one of our partner agencies, which I mentioned a few minutes ago, or to another 501c3 uh, nonprofit in the community. But if they don't designate and they want it to go where the greatest needs are, then it just goes into the general fund and that, that's where we fund all these needs. Um, and when you do that, you impact children, infants, elderly, and all those folks in between. You impact folks that are looking for housing and are homeless, you impact you know, domestic violence survivors, you, you impact you know, uh, folks that are looking for you know, affordable childcare programs for their kids. So um, you know, it's, um, the dollars stay here and that's really important to know. We have a regional volunteer portal called Volunteer United and it's regional with us and United Way of Greater Kingsport and United Way of East Tennessee Highlands located in Johnson City. And so basically this portal has opportunities for anybody in the community to look and see if they want to go volunteer at Boys and Girls Club or Casa for Kids or what have you, any of our partner agencies. And they can go on there and they can search by their zip code of where they live and see what resources they have in the near vicinity. And then they can just go right on there and uh, reply to that and they'll get hooked up with that agency. So um, it's a great opportunity for folks to learn about United Way and our agencies and also get involved in those agencies and provide services that a lot of times these agencies do not have the staff help that we need. And so by utilizing volunteers and Volunteer United, they are able to get a lot, a lot of work done that they couldn't do otherwise. You know, a lot of people think that they have to give a lot of money to the campaign when they make their giving. And that's not necessarily true. You know, we can take donations from a dollar a week to a million dollars if somebody wants to. So, but a lot of people, some, you know, retirees and other folks, they just don't have the resources or feel like they don't. So volunteering is a definitely another opportunity that they can give back to their community. Resource Bristol is our hub for community resources in our region. And basically what it is, um, Resource Bristol is our hub for the most asked for needs in the community. You know, we get between three and 600 calls a month um, the last couple months, it's been 300. The few months prior to that, it was going in four to 600 calls a month. So there's lots of needs, lots. Everybody calls United Way, and we're glad they do. We have resources and need to be able to provide those in the community. So Resource Bristol is on our website, and they can click there, and they can view the resources of the most asked for resources that we can provide. And so things like housing, utility assistance, um, you know, rent, mortgage, you know, all sorts of that kind of thing, um, mental health counseling, that kind of thing, there are, those resources are all on there. So, um, you know, for years we've been here for so long that everybody knows that they might not know what United Way does, but they know United Way helps, and so they call. And so we're happy that they do, and we just encourage anybody that has a need to call us. Um, we had seven or eight calls yesterday. Um, you know, three were from homeless couples, 
looking for housing. Um, one was for some maintenance on their home that they couldn't afford. It was an elderly person. And so, you know, anything and everything people call us and, and that's what we want people to do is to call United Way if they have a need. The other thing about Resource Bristol and our United Way is we answer the phone. There's a live person when you call United Way. And so, you know, a lot of agencies don't have the manpower to have somebody be able to answer the phone. And so they have to leave a message and you have to call back. And there's time involved with that. Um, but we answer the phones. Um, we call people back usually within 24 hours if they do have to leave a message or if they email us. So, you know, it's important. People like to be able to call and a lot of times just have somebody on the other end of the phone listening to them and offering some guidance and just a little glimpse of hope at the end of the line that there's somebody out there that cares and that's going to provide them with some resources to help. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.